I mean, kind of into hair. Hair? Yeah. You know, like hair, you know, like hairy legs. Oh, know, hair like, like that. Oh, yeah. I you meant like a, a, like a wave leg. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, oh no, okay. No, I was like, okay. No, 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 no. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay, that's no, okay, like, <laughs> that's totally fine. I'm, I've always heard that one. Let's sit on the couch, let's talk it out. Oh, come on, join the show, I'll tell you what I know. Oh, talk about it. It's the best podcast, let's have a blast. The People's Champ is in the building. He's an actor, an event producer, community liaison, and connector. Friend of the show, Brandon Anthony, is here. Hey. You you were here like three years ago or so. It was so. three years ago. Yeah. It yeah. was when we was just... We was just audio. Yeah, it was audio. <laughs> yeah. But I'm so excited to have you here. You lead a very dynamic life, I should say, from... Uh, so I want to know more, basically, from yeah. nightlife to personal. Because we go out, but you, you, you curate these out moments. Right. And so I have questions. Let's do it. Okay. So did you like being younger did you ever see yourself in this space no absolutely not um i'm not i wasn't really a people person because oh. uh, <laughs> growing, growing up like i really just i loved uh theater because it kind of separated me from the audience me and too. then i can just be an artist and disappear and do mm -hmm. my art you know so i had no idea that hospitality would you know fell in my lap so yeah okay yeah. okay do you feel like since you you're you are the guy. Do you ever use your status to get people to pull up? Uh, 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 I mean, yeah, of course, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I think I think that I use all the tools and advantages that I have to, um, yeah, to get people to show up. But I think that it's organic. Yeah, you know, it's right. genuine. Right, it's right. not one of those things where it's like forced or mm -hmm. oppressed. You know what I mean? Yeah. How do you how do you navigate? Because I know you have because there's there's hosts that come for nights. How do you navigate somebody who is completely difficult? I mean, I really in my, my mind, I just have to always kind of put them first at the time, mm -hmm. you know, and make sure that they're comfortable because they're obviously here to um, do something as well. You know, yeah. what I'm saying for me, and yeah. for the audience. So the last thing I want to do is rub them the wrong way, mm -hmm. you know, um, but after the job is done. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it. bye bye. We discussed some things. Okay. You know? <laughs> What's the craziest request you've ever gotten from like a host? Wow, the craziest request. I would have to say one of my artists doing uh, LA Pride Festival. Mm -hmm. They asked for only green M and M's. Oh. Yeah, so I had to have someone literally buy a bag of M&M's and only grab the green ones out. Okay. I don't understand why people do that because they all taste the same. It's just I, a different I, color. Yeah, I thought so too. Right, exactly. But it was wow. just weird. That I, that had to that has to be the weirdest because that's the that's the only one that kind of sticks to my mind. Yeah. You know, I'm just like, this is awkward. But okay. For sure. What's the biggest difference that you would say like in your career path from your first event up to the most recent? What's that biggest difference since you've been in the space? Um, I think the difference is when I first started, it was more um, just a club setting. Okay. You know, where I think now we pretty much have concepts. Yeah. And we kind of make it an experience. Mm hmm. Hmm. Okay. I feel that. And so you're out. Sometimes the nights are late. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You've dated somebody before? Yes. Do they ever like get like pissed off because they're just like, wow, you're out so late? Depending on who I'm dating. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I've had, I've had um, a boyfriend that um, understood the assignment because mm. they were also in entertainment, mm. so they understood what it kind of, you know, what it takes to sort of like, you know, what I'm saying, get the job done. Yeah. And then I've had someone that was sort of like just completely off the grid, you know, and just wanted to be a homebody and wanted me to come home, you know, yeah. and be home, you know. So it depends on who I'm dating. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I've found myself more. Um, um useful when i'm dating someone that allows me to move in my space for sure yeah. like that's always yeah, yeah it's definitely received yeah. what what challenges if any would you say that you've experienced in this industry being an openly black gay male um it's uh, i think one of the challenges is really uh support and i, I, w I won't say representation but i use the word support mm -hmm. because i watch um like some of my colleagues that may throw like other parties like yeah, white yeah. parties white people parties mm -hmm. and, or even latin kind of you know latin style parties that get more of a financial support 
you know, just because of, I don't, I don't know why, but um, I, I feel like we have to sort of work a little bit more hard and um, direct, more, more strategic, I should say, mm -hmm. to, um, to, get the, to get the response and the support from certain organizations or companies. Yeah, yeah. interesting. Have you, um, what's going on with acting? Well, acting is, is still, I'm still auditioning. Yeah. Um, yeah, I just think that for me, um, my, a majority of my income has come from nightlife and hospitality. Mm -hmm. um, so I've been more so focusing on that, but I still audition. And um, I, it's, it's going to be a little bit more of a shift now because yeah. um, I have people in position to sort of help push the brand on. Mm -hmm. That kind of gives me the opportunity to step back and focus more so on like my craft. So, yeah. yeah, yeah. What's your type? Dating type? Yeah. <laughs> my dating type is... Um, my dating type is, like I said, someone that really allows me to move in my space. Mm -hmm. um, they cannot be insecure. Yeah. You know, they kind of have to um, understand my position, their yeah. position, mm -hmm. you know. Um, and just, just someone that's down to earth. Yeah. yeah you know, I don't, looks is not really a main factor to me. I mean, you have to be attractive, obviously, but you don't have to be like drop dead gorgeous. Yeah, and attractive know. is subjective. Yeah, and, and yeah, exactly. Yeah, you know, exactly. I was yeah. having a conversation with somebody yesterday. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's subjective for sure. Yeah, it really, I really like gravitated and realized. I'm like, it's really not the looks for me. It's like, what's going on? Is the conversation stimulating? Yeah. And is it fun? Is it adventurous? And, and the chemistry is right. Well, you know, yeah. What I'm saying? yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to feel that as long as you find that person attractive, then it really mm -hmm. doesn't matter, right? Yeah. yeah. Who have you cheated on? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Um I've cheated on my ex fiance. Really? Yeah, but it was more so of a we was just going we was cheating back and forth, <gasps> both of us. <laughs> Not cheating back. Yeah. Okay. Well I, I, did, I well did I cheat I don't I think I I I take accountability for that. I think I cheated first because I just I was I was new to LA. Yeah. And you know just being like the newest hottest boy on the scene, I guess. Mm -hmm. And um really liked somebody and just allowed myself to get get lost in the sauce. Yeah. So yeah, and then he got his lick back and then And then it was a wrap. No, then we got back together and oh. then I got my lick back and then oh. it's <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. The whole toxic situation, yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? But um, but we're still great friends. Yeah, so. yeah. yeah uh, how many times have you been engaged? Been engaged twice. Twice. Okay. Twice. Third time's a charm. No, um, yeah. Well, yeah. You. But third time is a charm. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's only gonna happen one more time, and then we're getting married, and that's it. Because I'm only getting married married, married once. once. Okay. Only once. Yeah. I mean, take your time. It takes time. Yeah. What brings you joy? Uh. Mm -hmm. laughter brings me joy mm -hmm. um i just like humor yeah i like to laugh and i like um the complete opposite which is complete quietness yeah yeah shut up yeah <laughs> let me say isolation please yeah yeah silence uh -huh. um, <clears throat> excuse me and i think that's because i'm always in nightlife so i always am it's loud high energy and loud and stuff yeah so i think that when i have like some type of like peace and serenity that yeah. brings me more joy too. Yeah. Yeah. How do you sexually identify? I'm an oral top. Oral top. Yeah. <laughs> oral top. Okay. How do you define oral top? <laughs> um, well, first of all, I don't like um titles. Okay. Know? But Okay, let me know. But the reason why I can say I'm an oral top is because if I had to give it like a definition, yeah. you know, I would say somebody that loves oral, likes giving and receiving oral. Okay. But doesn't really do the penetration part. Got it. So yeah. Uh huh. So that's why. I, Have you I tried it? Fi. Have you tried it? Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. It's not your ministry. Not my ministry. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, it's yeah. a lot. Like, why are you going through that? Okay. <laughs> what turns you on? Uh, humor as well. Yeah, yeah. humor. Um, someone that can make me laugh. Um, uh, long legs. Long legs. I'm into long legs. Long legs. Long legs. Okay. Yeah. And, and, and I'm into. I'm kind of into hair. Hair? Yeah. <laughs> okay. What kind of hair? You're like hair, you know, like hairy legs. Oh, know, hair like, like that. Oh, yeah. I thought you meant like a, a like a wave leg. Oh, no, no, oh, no, no. Oh, okay. No, I was no, like, okay. no, 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 no. Like, <laughs> I was like, okay, that's no, okay. Like, <laughs> that's totally fine. I'm, I've always heard that one. Uh, no, got yeah, it. hairy legs. You know, hairy. I'm into. I'm into hairy chest. You know, like masculine. Like a hairy things. butthole. Not a hairy butthole, but a hairy butt. So the cheeks hairy. Yeah. The hole is clean. 
The hole is clean. Okay, what's yours right now? It's 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 probably a, a, a low fade. Fade. Yeah, a buzz cut. Hole too. The oh yeah, well the hole is probably. Yeah. <laughs> Where is this going? <laughs> <laughs> I just had to know. Okay. All right. All right. Low fade. I received that. Okay. Okay. But I do want to know, like, what what is the multitude of the pressure that you have to represent your community in the best way? You are a cultural connector. Yeah. You're out here in the nightlife. You have a mildly shaped hole. So, <laughs> I think I think for me the most uh, the most challenging part is for me having to um, sometimes be political. Mm. You know, when I think that the best version of me is really showing that you should be able to um, be yourself unapologetically, mm -hmm. you know, um, and and not have to worry about like a cancel culture or anything yeah. just because of you are standing in your truth. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Who's the most famous person you have in your phone? The most famous person I've had in my phone? Yeah, right now. In my phone? Me? Okay. Um, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Tiana Taylor. Tiana Taylor. Yeah. Okay, Tiana Taylor. That's good. I mean, Calvin Klein. Calvin Klein. Yeah. The Calvin Klein. Yeah. The Calvin and the Klein. Yeah. Wow. What yeah. are you wearing right now? You, what, uh, you got Calvin Klein. Calvin Klein. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you should. Okay. What's the one guest that ha maybe had you starstruck when you were, like you're planning your event and mm -hmm. making a whole thing? So, what's, Have what's, you ever been starstruck by a host? I guess I've been starstruck um, only by Cardi B. So the most recent, really, one of my most recent. Um, celebrity appearances uh, was cardi b yeah just because i always watched her on instagram mm -hmm. even from the beginning mm -hmm. you know so to see you know um her in person yeah so many years yeah you know you had never seen her in person until I recently never seen her in person wow That's, i love cardi yeah. b yeah okay. i love cardi b yeah and i think that was why i was like oh my god like i want her to like me too <laughs> cardi or nikki <laughs> both okay <laughs> <laughs> Talk to me about your role with uh, Bl uh, Black Pride LA and how you got involved, though. Yeah, so I'm the executive director of mm -hmm. LA Black Pride. Um, I got involved because when I started throwing my own parties throughout the year, mm -hmm. um, I saw that it um, was kind of like declining in terms of um, attendance. Yeah. So I started. I partnered with some of the original founders mm -hmm. of it, mm -hmm. and then they sort of like you know faded into the background. Yeah. And then I stepped in, stepped up and sort of took the lead in the initiative to um, kind of reshape it. Yeah, yeah. You were also kind of like in a public view with a rapper, Chico, who claimed that you were disrespecting them during after a gig that was orchestrated by you. I just want to know, what has life been like since that? I mean, for me, I think that life has been actually aligned. Mm. If I must say, because I, it was so many layers to that situation to where I wanted to say something, but again, to, you know, to bring back your last question yeah. of having to be political yeah. and making sure that, you know, you say the right things, because if I really just told the truth, even though it would have cleared my name up, mm -hmm. you know, being a cisgender black you know, gay man, yeah. you know, it's kind of hard. No matter what you say, it was you're still going to be, um, you know, sh um, scrutinized for, right. you know, for what they heard on the other side. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, but I, but I thought, but it gave me the opportunity because one thing I said prior to that year was I wanted to be able to um, remove my face from my brand. So then that way I don't have to always be present. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And I think that that gave me the opportunity to step back and put people in position, you know, and kind of create more of a, a bigger brand, you know, yeah. and a legacy, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So, um, and every, ever, you know, it, it's been actually, it, it's been everything I actually needed for myself. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, yeah. I'm actually glad it happened. Okay. You're glad it happened. Yeah. You, oh, yeah. you said that you couldn't, you know, speak on the truth. Do you ever feel like you will? What was the truth? Well, I feel like um, I would. Well, I don't even feel like I need to anymore. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because I feel like whatever damage was done was done, you know. Um, and then also it, I mean, more people found out who I was yeah <laughs> so yeah you know so for so for me it was, it's one of those things where you know i um am fine with not sharing it because it did not affect my business Got you it. know i feel like if i if it affected my business then it it was necessary to share mm -hmm. but because i think that majority of my audience and my support system 
really first of all know me yeah you know um before the incident and then when they were told the exact you know the full story i mean because we have documents you know we have emails you know what i'm saying the receipts the receipts that pretty much cover us on our end which Uh is why no type of criminal investigation has happened you know what i'm saying because their story was not accurate right you know what i'm saying so because of that oh it was a lie it was a full lie Mm. Well, let me not say it was a lie. That was her experience. Let me say that. Okay. And that was not the truth. Okay. Did you resolve your issues? What issue? With Chica. Uh, I don't have to resolve any issues with anyone. You okay. Know. <laughs> right. I mean, you know, again, because once once you try to come for my business, yeah, on my livelihood, uh-huh. um, there is nothing no that we back. can discuss. Yeah, and and she was never my friend to begin with. Okay. <laughs> Amaya Scott, did you resolve your troubles? Because I know she you did. You did. Yeah. Well, um, and um, the crazy part is, I love Amaya. Um, shout out to Amaya Scott. Um, she is my very first gay daughter. I've oh, been wow. known her since she was thirteen years old. You a dad? Oh, well, gay dad. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, I'm a father of a house, so. I didn't know that. Yeah. Well, okay. I just became father of a new house as of two days ago. Got it. So, um, yeah. So her and I definitely had the conversation, and. Um, we both from New Orleans. Yeah. So we both firecrackers. I got you. You know, and we know each other. So we're fine now. We're great now, actually. Cool. What was the process like in getting your Instagram back? <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, oh, lots of connections. Okay. Lots of connections. Lots of... I had to send them articles. Oh. Um, wow. Because... You had to prove. Uh, yeah. Because yeah. they were flagged. It was being flagged that it was not me. Mm-hmm. And harassing. Mm. Um. So, yeah. Lots of connection yeah i feel that <laughs> okay so you're outside sometimes you're working these events what's the right way to flirt with you at a party you're single yeah i am and what's the wrong way the right well the right way is to start off with a drink you know in the in the 12 years of me or the 10 years of me throwing events mm-hmm. i've only maybe been approached three times for okay. someone ask uh, offering me a drink Mm, so you want to you want somebody to offer you a drink? I mean, yeah, because it's one of those things where it's like, I, I don't think anyone expects, yeah. you know what I'm saying, to offer me a drink because, you know, it's my party. Yeah, so they're yeah. like, you should be buying me a drink. You know what I'm saying? Right. But then those are the kind of guys where I'm like, you're not independent. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you need me to do everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> yeah. So I, I, think, I think whenever um, someone buys me a drink, I'm always like, oh. Mm. Whether their intentions now are. Now everybody yeah. about to buy you a drink. Yeah. <laughs> you know that, right? <laughs> You're about to be drunk. Well, You're right. about to be fucked up. Okay. Um, and what turns me off is just someone that just is really like, like, just, you know. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> just, yeah. Okay. You know, it's extra. Do you believe in circling the block? Ooh. Wow. <laughs> When you say circling the block, does that mean... You know what that means. You mean like going back to someone? Yes. Uh, Yeah, because honestly, I hate dating new people. Okay. You know, um, I hate that process. Yeah. Um, And then the getting over process, if we ever get there. Yeah. You know, so I, I'm better off with How do you? dating somebody that I know already. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well... Thank you for joining me. It is season three. Can we play a game real quick? Let's do it. Okay. I'm super excited about this. It's called Can You Imagine? So basically, I'm going to give you two situations. You know, maybe it's like, which one is more likely for your case scenario? Okay. Okay? Okay. Okay. So can you imagine winning the lottery or winning an Emmy Award? Winning an Emmy Award. Okay. Come on, Shirley Ralph. Yeah. Can you imagine dating Rome Flynn or Usher? Rome Flynn. Mm, I saw him at the grocery store. He is fine. He was at Ralph's. Oh, my God. I said, hey. Okay. Um, Can you imagine no longer giving oral or no longer receiving oral, Mr. Oral Top? Uh, 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 Giving oral. I mean, I I can imagine myself never. I can imagine myself never giving oral. Oh, you'd be done with that. But you need oral. I do need oral. Okay. Okay. (laughs) Can you imagine (laughs) meditating or mediating? Which one's more likely for you? Meditating. Mm, you're not stepping in the middle of nothing? No. No resolve it. Can no. you imagine moving to the UK or donating your weekends to underserved children? Underserved children. Really? For sure. Do you volunteer? I do volunteer. I, I do a lot of youth um, youth service at the LA LGBT, C- oh, L- okay. LA LGBT C Center. Yeah. yeah. Can you imagine marrying for money or starting an OnlyFans? Do you have an OnlyFans? No. I, I should, like though. You should. Um... 
marrying for money. <laughs> you can imagine marrying for money. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> before I mean, before OnlyFans. Oh uh, well, hey. Yeah, my I mean, mom. You could get on the OnlyFans and you wouldn't have to marry money. I mean, yeah, but then my mom and my your mom knows what's going on. Yeah, but <laughs> you know, because even like, like the situation happened with Chica, you know, I, uh -huh. I saw her response oh. to, to the public you know yeah, what i'm yeah, saying yeah. display and i don't want something like that happening especially some sexual even though i've done a movie where i was what? try humping a guy oh but um, did you have underwear on? no i didn't wow but skin to skin skin to skin dick to dick yeah but you, you didn't see any of that it, oh, okay. was, it was very you know very tasteful well thank you for sharing <laughs> thank you for being here <laughs> thank you for having cheers me. to you cheers. um yeah what else is next for you what do we need to know um, well, I am, I am, um, transitioning more into concert style events. Okay. So having artists doing full concerts. Yeah. And being in that promoting world mm -hmm. and hopefully starting to produce my own films. Dope. Yeah. Okay. We'll make sure I'm on the list and make sure I'm cast it. Of course. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Hey friends, thanks so much for tapping into this episode. Make sure you subscribe, like, and follow for more right here on YouTube and wherever you stream your podcast. Oh, and visit RGJ.com and follow me on social media at RGJ Speaks, okay? <laughs> and don't miss our weekly conversations right here on the Archie Podcast. Get into it.